terrible, terrible candy. Hi there, I'm Laura with Mural Dreams and this is the March Scroller Box. We have a little notebook here. Drawing paper. Ooh, this is very smooth. Glistens in the artificial light. Ooh, it looks like it's a like marker paper. Okay, oh, this is, oh, this is a cool artwork. I like it. Feature artist. Shane Vorhaben, Vorhaben, inspiring, very inspiring indeed. What else do we have here? Scrawler Zine, March 2021. All right, so this whole thing, it's like a little flyer about the box. Tells you what is inside and a quick look at the artist and his art. I will give this a read. It looks fun. It's like a little magazine that I used to read when I was, uh, in my youth. Uh, notes from the artist, scrawler tips. Oh, they have this scrawler gallery from January. Blue pens. I like uh, the magazine concept. Marker pens. So I guess that's what we have in here. Marker pens. And I'll just pour it out. Let's pour it right out. Let's see what we got here. Scrawler. Oh, sticker. This is a sticker from the artist with the scrawler, the scrawler symbol. This month's box is all about the beauty of the hand-drawn line. So we have three Faber Faber Castell pit artist brush pen, which are these colors. These are very nice colors. A scarlet red Faber Castell pen, and it is hard. It's not the soft, but this is very very pointy. And then we have a lime green or may, a may green color. Very nice, very sharp, I love it. And then we have the sky blue. Also, a very pleasing color. They are not, they are not basic primary colors. They are a little nuanced. And then we have here the Unipen brush pen. This premium quality brush pad features a fade proof and water resistant pigment ink. It has a farm brush tip that will adapt to your pressure, angle and speed during use. That's interesting. All right, it's water and fade proof pigment ink. Very interesting. This is a gel stick pen. Pretty basic gel stick. It's black, I love that. We have this black fine liner. Also a little thicker than the other one. And we have a Derwent Graphic 2B pencil. It has lost its tip in transport. Oh my goodness, poor Derwent pen. So, made in Britain. Okay, and we have some terrible, terrible candy. Ugh. No candy. All right, cool. Let's make some art. Hey there, my artful friend. This is my first scrawler box and it arrived sorta kinda late. That is, the March box arrived on April 7th, so it was long awaited. What makes scrawler box different than all of the other art subscription boxes that I've tried so far is that they're located in the UK, but most importantly, they vow to plant a tree for every box that somebody orders. So how can you not like someone with a charming accent and with a great mission? However, after opening something like five boxes so far and sneak peeking into art into other artists' unboxings of these art subscription boxes, I'm starting to notice a trend, which is that they're mostly markers, inks, pens, and pencils. And that's okay, who doesn't need to doodle more? I do. <laughs> After all, that's why I signed up for a mystery box, to receive something that I probably wouldn't have bought, and to try something new. Scrawler box doesn't list the price for each item on its menu, like the other boxes, but these supplies do seem of a great quality. Even my daughter, who switched to digital, 
was drooling over my Faber Castells pants and I wasn't even aware of them. But she does recognize good quality, which she learned well. Either way, the box itself cost me 20 pounds sterling, <laughs> including shipping, which equates to just over $27 American dollars. I think it's got the value inside, no doubt. What I enjoy about trying out all of these mystery boxes is that I basically have no idea when I will receive them. And so I await them so eagerly <laughs> and that gets me out of the house even if it's just to the mailbox which is a five minute walk. Otherwise some days I forget. The luxury of working at home, it's a gift and a curse. Since my first box arrived in the second month, I let the subscription go another month. But I have the feeling that even though the thought of healing the planet with trees, perhaps the energy and fuel that the box is required to make its way to me over the ocean is now worth it. Especially when there are other options nearby that make their way to my house with much ease. I personally choose ease. But there will be another scroller box coming my way, who knows when. And then I'll make a comparison video between the boxes that I've tried so far. Art snacks, palette full, sketch box and scroller box. And I know there are a couple of others out there that I haven't experienced yet. And if there's one that you were eyeing and would like to see an unboxing or a review of, please let me know, I would love to hear your ideas. As for my choice of art this time, I honestly don't know where this came from as I'm not particularly <laughs> as I'm not particularly a dino fan or a voracious carnivorous predators fan. Might have been something stuck in my subconscious, I suppose. I hope that you're finding some entertainment, information and inspiration in this video. And if you are, please click that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you would like to see more unboxings, reviews and art videos, subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications to always get the newest video when it comes out. I hope you have a swell weekend and I hope your life is full of creativity and inspiration. And I'll see you next time my friend and trust the flow. Thank you.